Welcome to the Ogles channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about easy to defeat or cheese Iberitas, the daughter of the cosmos in Bloodborne. Now there are two strategies to go about this. One's not a cheese strategy. One's just simply a good strategy to use. And let's go over the good strategy to use and then the cheese strategy secondly. Now the first thing I always recommend for this fight because it's going to provide so much distraction is go ahead and use the summon bell or the summoning right before the fog gate. It's going to make the battle so much easier on you because it's a pretty healthy character here as far as a large HP and it's going to be a great distraction. So go ahead and summon that character and then head into the boss arena and then basically position yourself behind the boss or basically between these two little tentacles here and you've got sort of the ultimate position. And once you get back there, just start slicing away. And of course, her attention is going to try to come to you sometimes, but just stay behind the boss here. And eventually her attention goes back to the summon. And when it goes back to the summon, perfect opportunity for you to once again slice away from behind. Now, if you don't want to do a cheese strategy, just keep this technique up for the entire battle. Even when it goes into stage two of the battle, just simply look out for some of the attacks and stay directly behind the boss. If you need to run away for a second, heal up, that's fine. And when the attention goes to the summon again, run back behind and slice away again. Now, if she does a little attack where she sends some uh, ray beams down from the sky, just run left or just run right in a straight line and you can avoid that attack and then get behind her again and slice away while she's distracted with your summon. It's really simple to go about the strategy, but let's say you want to cheese the boss. There's a strategy for that as well, and it's pretty much foolproof if you can get her into this particular area. In the first stage of the fight, you have to sort of fight normally. Use your summon here, you know, get behind her, get the attacks in. But when she transforms, you're going to want to get your summon killed off, make sure the summon dies, and then you're going to want to position the boss behind this little pillar here, close to the fog gate, in the corner and once you get her over in the corner just bait her over to the corner stand over there she'll come over and attack you run around the pillar and then go around the second pillar here and you can stand it right here and she is now stuck on that little corner behind the first pillar in this boss arena it's really a great position to have her because if she tries to do the little star attack you can just hide behind the pillar and all you need to do is wait for her to sort of slam into the ground and you run up there, do one or two slices with your more distant attack. And then once you get your slices in, run back behind your little pillar, wait for her to do her little attacks and then run up there when she's slammed down again, get one or two more little slices in and then run back. And you can have the boss defeated easily this way as well. And it's really less of a chance of dying, but the battle will take longer this way. So whether you do the cheese strategy like this or just simply the normal strategy of using your summon and getting the most attacks in as possible from behind, you'll have this boss defeated in no time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Bloodborne cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.